Okay. Okay, and um, welcome again. My name is Jeff Pugh. I'm the director of the Conflict Resolution Graduate Programs at the University of Massachusetts, Boston. Um, and I'm joined today by Lee Murphy, my colleague in the department who is um, the program manager in our department office and is um, often the sort of first person that people meet when they apply. And certainly along with our other two office staff, Kelly Ward-Mason and Jason Passano, keep the trains running. Um, the the conflict resolution graduate programs at UMass Boston were one of the first graduate programs in the country in this field in conflict resolution. And it was the when we developed the master's degree, that was the first master's degree in the Northeast of the US. And so we've been doing this a long time, but now we have a new option, which is people are able to participate uh, without being in Boston, right? Through the online graduate certificate. And so today we'll start with this overview of the conflict graduate graduate programs in general. So you can sort of hear voices and see a little bit of um, our folks. And then um, I'll focus more on the online I certificate after that. What's really amazing about this program is that it's really hands-on. As a student, you will be put in a position where you experience the real world. We've had a summer institute in Ecuador where I got to learn about intervention that can be used to mitigate this conflict. So you apply the, 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 the skills you learned in class in a real situation. The hands-on out of the classroom learning experience was amazing. I I got to go to Northern Ireland. We got to meet with people from all sides of the conflict, and it's something that I don't think I would get anywhere else outside of UMass Boston. I was able to uh, practice my mediation skills under a guided coach uh, in the district court here in Massachusetts. Real life, real time interaction um, in a courtroom setting in which we, the students, had the opportunity to practice our skill set. The court internship equipped me with skills and tools to be able to secure a very uh, competitive program at the United Nations. The conflict resolution program prepares you to go out into the workforce or out into the world um, with a unique skill set that employers are eager to see. I'm excited to wake up in the morning and I'm so happy that I get to do the work that I do. I use what I learned in the conflict resolution program almost every single day. I feel really lucky that I had a cohort around me who were able to help me to not only digest the material that I was learning, but to also put it into practice. It's actually those relationships that helped me to secure the, the current job that I have. If I had to describe my relationship with faculty here and students uh, in one word, it would be family. As an alumni, we can easily reach back to our, in, uh, to our professors for any career suggestion, for any question that we might have. They have as much to teach me in the classroom as much as I teach them. And we very much look forward to meeting new folks who bring in their experiences of life, bring in their approaches to conflict, and together we break new grounds. I would recommend it to anyone that asks about the conflict resolution program. I think for the price, the location being right on the water in Boston, it would be an excellent choice for anyone. I can't think of a better place than to like further education, especially if you're interested in conflict, than here at Conway's at UMass Boston. This is an environment where I feel like I, I don't even want to leave someday. I think this is something that we together uh, want to uh, welcome students here who really do believe that they can change the world. Okay, so the, hopefully that gives a little bit of an overview of, um, you know, the the programs in general um, in, the, in the conflict resolution um, program. A few of the things they talked about are only available in person, but quite a lot of access to through the online certificate. So let's talk about that. Um, our online graduate certificate is a fully online and almost fully asynchronous program. So that means that uh, you can be really anywhere in the world as long as you have access to an internet connection and a, and a computer. Um, and you are able to um, 
it, it's not everyone meeting all at one time. So it's not like Zoom calls in general. Um, you would have the materials for each week that you work your way through um, in terms of the instructor's videos, other supplemental videos and and uh, readings and, and assignments. And you would interact mostly through the online forums, discussion forums, um, either through kind of posting a, a video and responding to others, um, or through uh, text-based kind of uh, to that is that the negotiation course, which is the course skills class, um, there are a couple of simulations that sometimes invite everybody to have be on Zoom at the same time, just because it's really hard to build skills uh, without having at least a little bit of interaction. But that always gets sort of scheduled ahead of time. And, um, you know, there are uh, fallback options if if someone can't make um, those scheduled times. Um, in addition to our, our fully asynchronous graduate certificate, there are a couple of other options certificate as well as an in-person uh, master's program. And so, um, it is possible to take most of your classes online. If you are in the Boston area and, and are interested, you would still be able to um, take maybe one of them in person. That, that's a possibility if it's of interest. Um, also, if you get into the graduate certificate and decide, wow, I want more of this uh, and decide to continue um, and apply for a master's degree, um, you would be able to count the classes that you did in the certificate towards the master's degree. So it wouldn't be starting over if you were to apply and be accepted to the master's degree. Um, yeah, let's go to the next slide. So it's a 12 credit graduate certificate. So that means basically four courses. Um, and the, the two core required courses are theories of conflict resolution, and that our online section is offered each fall, and then negotiation, our, our um, core skills class is offered online each spring. And so the if you're taking two courses per semester, you could finish the graduate certificate in you know nine months or so, or, or one academic year. Um, and you would take one core course and then one elective each semester. And we always offer at least one online elective. You can see here a few of the ones that we've offered in, in the last year or two. Um, Cross-cultural conflict, third-party interventions in conflict. So that's a kind of a broad survey of different kinds of um interventions that people use like mediation, dialogue and facilitation, ombuds work, uh, arbitration and, and circle processes and other things like that to assist parties in conflict. Uh, we've offered collaborative governance and not actually, I'm currently teaching this semester, nonviolent action. Um, our faculty, we have five um, tenure track faculty in the conflict resolution area. All of us are um, scholar teacher practitioners. So we uh, have done a lot of research in this area. We also have experience on the ground um, mediating or, or conducting dialogues or training out in the field, uh, both in the US and around the world. And we often have additional instructors um, who are scholars and practitioners who come in and visit for a shorter time in addition to our core faculty. So um, on our webpage, you can um, go to the link if you're interested and see a little bit more about the faculty. So in addition to the kind of core curriculum that I mentioned, there are some additional options that you have, and these are often synchronous. So these would be, you have access online, right, often through Zoom, but it, they would be at a scheduled time. So every month, the Conflict Resolution Program hosts a colloquium, and these are some of the top uh, people in the field of conflict resolution. Quite often, they're practitioners presenting on some cutting-edge part of the field, 
um, whether it's um, elder mediation or um, restorative justice or cross-cultural conflict or um, many others. Um, okay, we just got several boxes in the middle of the screen, Lee. Um, and, and those, we are generally offering an, a Zoom option. So although they're usually going to be in person, you can uh, join by Zoom if you're interested. Um, and so there are some virtual options there. Um, we've sometimes had cohort events where we have a kind of a community building uh, opportunity for our online students that, uh, you know, we want to encourage you to think of your uh, your experience with us beyond just the classroom and um, start to build a little bit of community. I know that's hard when it's in an online space and especially in asynchronous uh, class where you don't always actually see each other all at the same time very often. One final opportunity that we have, which is accessible to our online uh, students, is a summer institute on conflict transformation across borders. So this is a special program that I've been running for the past um, five or, or six years. It started out as a field-based um, study abroad institute in Ecuador for three weeks, uh, where we would go into the Amazon jungle to the northern border with Colombia, and um, the focus is on peace building, conflict transformation, and migration, refugees, and border issues. Um, since the pandemic happened, we've been virtual with this. And so it's a program that is collaboratively run with five institutions in Latin America. It's in English, uh, but we have students really from all over the world who participate. And that's three weeks in uh, the summer. And so that would be an opportunity to uh, have a, a more kind of hands-on field-based while still being online op option and be exposed to a whole range of really exciting guest speakers. So if you were interested in that, and you could participate in that whether or not you were enrolled in the in the degree program. That's open for anyone who wants to um, to enroll. Um, I'll get back in a minute to the, your options that you could try out our classes a little bit if you wanted to before um, enrolling in the degree program. That is a possibility too, but I'll come back to that. Someone mentioned at the beginning when we were talking about the um, sort of what, it, what people were hoping to get out of it, uh, of our session today, kind of what do alumni do with this program? What do they think about? So I wanna let you hear some of their voices. We're gonna um, play this video and then I'll give a little more context. I use the things that I learned here every single day in cross-cultural conflict and organizational conflict that I took with Dr. Matz and, and on and on and negotiation. The work that I did here served me uh, in terms of really understanding how to talk about this when I went looking for work. The professors that you have who can help you network in the community are, are really important. I wasn't looking to go back to school, but I thought I'll pick up a couple of things, you know, learn a couple of things. And I got into the program and I fell in love with it. And what I found was there's a lot of people don't say, oh, we don't need mediation, but what we can use a little facilitation. So you take the same skills and you transfer them back and you learn how to bring people into conversations, learning good conversation skills, how to facilitate conversations, how to get organizations to work, how to get them to reflect on themselves, learning some organizational development. I have Darren's large group methods textbook. I had David Matz talking about Deborah Kolb, the peacemaker, in the back of my head. And I had Sheila Heen and Doug Stone's coaching and feedback referenced open with highlights on my desk. So I took the skills, I took the strategies, the theory, the coursework, the information, and I created a role for myself doing the people side of change on a large scale, internationally, engaging in all of these topics. 
Okay, so you can see a few examples there. Some of our alumni, as I said, we've been we've had the graduate certificate in conflict resolution for decades in place. So some of our early alumni are now among the leaders of the field. We have people who have gone on. Um, actually, someone developed the dispute resolution system online for PayPal and. Um, and eBay early on, uh, which handles millions of disputes, um, many of which were automatic, automatically uh, handled. We've got folks who have gone on to be ombuds for some of the major institutions, including um, the World Bank and the United Nations. We have uh, folks who go into human resources or um, education, nursing, et cetera, and are able to use their conflict resolution skills um, either in a, to pivot to a new career or just to supplement their skills in their existing one. So those are some of the ways that our alumni have used the program. Um, let's go to the next slide. Um, so just a few of the logistics. Someone else said this is what they're hoping to get a little more information on. How do you actually apply if you're interested? Uh, we have two uh, starting times each year that um, online certificate students can or, or certificate students can can begin. Um, if you're interested in starting in the spring, the application deadline is November 1st. So that's why we're having this information session now, because that would be the next opportunity. Get your application in by November 1st. And if you were accepted, you would be able to um, to um, begin in January at the when the when the semester starts. Um, if you wanted to start in the fall, the application deadline is June first. And uh, you know, on our website, and you know, I, I I mentioned at the beginning the the link, but you can also remember um, mm -hmm. conflict.umb.edu, UMass Boston. Um, is a shortcut and it'll take you to our conflict resolution main page. Um, and so you can find there links to the application form, information about the application fee, what you have to submit. So it would be your academic history, your transcripts, a statement of purpose where you're responding to a few questions we have about why you want to participate and what you hope to get out of it, your resume, and two letters of recommendation. Um, so that would be what you would submit in order to apply. And um, as I mentioned earlier, it is possible to um, to later decide if you want to um, convert from the certificate to the master's degree, you would apply. And if you were accepted, um, you would be able to use your credits that you had earned for the certificate and apply them towards the master's degree. For some folks, um, you know, maybe they've been out of um, school for a while or are not exactly sure what conflict resolution means and it's about, they, they want to try it out a little bit before committing to enrolling in the degree program, that is possible. So we um, have what we call the take a class option. So it allows you to enroll as a non-degree student in certain courses that we offer um, and you take that course class like anybody else for that semester. Um, but, you know, that that's kind of you aren't committed at that point to the full degree. Um, and so we list on our Web page um, the courses each semester that are available for that option. But most of them are. So our core classes in negotiation and theories and most of our online electives are available um, to take as a non-degree student and then later decide if you wanted to apply for the um, degree program. Um, a final slide here, I, um, you know, obviously cost is a question too. Uh, and this gives you a little bit of an idea of the costs of the program. So the fully online program, Graduate Certificate in Conflict Resolution, um, cost the same regardless of your residency status in Massachusetts. So, uh, you know, we're, we're a public institution. So for in-person students, the, the price depends on whether you're a resident of Massachusetts or not. But for the online one, it does not. It costs $575 per credit. So 
you know, one typical class is three credits. And, uh, you know, you take four classes for the certificate. So all of that together, the tuition for the four courses um, totals to $6,900. And then there's a few fees um, involved just as part of starting up and becoming a student and then later um, in graduating. Um, so the the sort of estimated total cost of the whole program uh, for the online certificate based on today's tuition rate, so these can change from year to year, um, is $7,565. I mentioned earlier that, you know, it is possible to take to do the the certificate in person if you're in the Boston area, or to even take one or two of the classes in person if you wanted to, but that does some have some implications for the pricing, um, because the in person classes the pricing structure would be based on your residency status. So that's more complicated. If you're interested in that option, you can get in touch with with Lee or with me for more detailed information. Okay, so I've been talking at you a good bit. I want to um, go ahead and maybe pause the recording and um, 